this is the home page of the OTDR. You can see all the functions of it. This is the file management. And this is system settings. In this, you can change the brightness, the energy conservation, and the auto of time, and other basic settings like day and time, or can track the information of your machine, like hardware or software version and the SN code. Okay, change language. Then look the auto OTDR. In auto OTDR, you can change the wavelength as you need. But for other parameters, you don't need to change like the test range and the pulse width. Uh, these parameters were set by the system totally, so you don't need to change by yourself. So OTDR, uh, auto OTDR is a good helper of the new guys who don't know much about OTDR function. And then uh, we'll show the curve, the list of events, and the event map. Expert OTDR. In Expert OTDR, you can choose real time test or average test and change the wavelength as you need. And for test range, uh, usually please choose the test range with the twice of the real length of the fiber you will test. But for this time, 500 meters will be okay. And for pulse width, uh, the system will give you a range. Uh, the middle value will be okay, but for this time, 30 will be enough. And see settings for average average times. Uh, please choose according to your need. Uh, for this testing, 50, 50, 50, 15 will be okay. And for other parameters, don't need to change. Then you can waiting for the testing results. Okay, let's look at it. the list of events uh, for events and the event map. And uh, you can uh, you can check the specific meaning of the events in the user manual for getting more details. It's very clear in the user manual. Okay, and it is still the uh, uh other test, real test, real time test. Uh, the site the parameter settings is same with average test. Okay.